Hi guys, my name's Yvonne Chapman. I play Jalan on CW's Kung Fu and you're watching Agent. I love Thanos. <laughs> kind of reminds me of like me because he's collecting eight things. I'm collecting eight things, you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> but it was like one of my absolute favorite Marvel villains. Um, oh, I loved, I mean, I loved the Joker uh, portrayed by Heath Ledger, who doesn't? It was the most, one of the most incredible performances I've ever seen. Um, I love Cruella DeVille and everything. I'm so excited to see the new Emma Stone one coming out. Hans Landa from Inglorious Bastards was incredible. He was so, so good. Oh, Hannibal Lecter. Yes, Anthony Hopkins, beautiful actor. You know, I just think it comes down to the performances and just kind of like the richness of all of the characters. The performance is just really, it's just really enthralling and really enticing. And that's just what I really appreciate about a villain is like, oh, you don't, you kind of hate them, but you also really love them. That's the tricky balance that you're trying to find, right? So she is the big bad of the show. She's the villain. Um, she plays this incredible cat and mouse game with Nikki throughout the series, trying to acquire the eight mystical weapons. Um, and she's, she's just this dangerously good fighter. She's alluring, she's mysterious, but all of that said, she's really heartbreaking too, going back to the, to the backstory of why she is who she is and her relationship with her sister. It's all just really fascinating. I'm excited for the audience to see all of it. Absolutely. I think I, I believe in redeeming anybody if they're willing to change. Um, and if they find a pathway to change that's reasonable and makes sense. I mean, especially for villains who, um, whose motivation is not necessarily always evil, you know? Like that's kind of what I loved about Thanos too. It's like, I, I understood why he was doing what he's doing. I understand why Jalan's doing what she's doing. And for that, there's more possibilities of where the story can go and where the character can go. I would like her to be redeemed possibly. Um, that's not up to me though. <laughs> you know, to, TBD is what I'll say. I will say that as the story progresses, um, learning about her backstory is really going to be satisfying for the audience. I really believe so. And I really have to thank the showrunners for providing such a complex and interesting backstory for her. Because as that plays out, I think the audience is going to be just like really, really enthralled and like um, interested in what to see what's going to come from that. Aside from the fighting, I think just discovering who she is as the show goes along, because as she gets put up in front of different situations and different challenges and hurdles with different people, there's, it's like an onion. There's like little bits of her just peeling away and peeling away and getting to the core of, of who she is and why she is. And that to me has been really, really satisfying. And again, I really thank the writers for giving me that. Uh, such a complex woman to play. It's been an absolute joy. Yeah, I mean, hey, it's it's COVID time. So we're being really, really careful. We're each other's bubbles. And unfortunately, we can't go out to eat, but we definitely ordered in a lot. And Olivia is really good at ordering food. I may be the local, but she found places I didn't even know about. <laughs> so every single time we kind of get together, if we're not eating at Mama Kane's house because she's an incredible cook. So we all wait for her to, to cook for us because she's so loving and giving that way. And that's how she expresses our love for us, thankfully. Uh, we're always like, Olivia, you can order food <laughs> because she's so good at it. And uh, there has been some heated debate among me and some of the people about poutine. I am just always championing for it. And they're like, nah, some of them like it, but I'm still gonna try to convince them. Hopefully season two, we don't know yet. But if they're if we're back here, I'm gonna wean them down on on you know loving poutine. <laughs> Every single Wednesday, 8 p.m. on the CW streaming on the CW app, and for my Canadian friends, it is on CTV too. <laughs>